Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Friday, November 27th, 2015. And today we have some more eBay issues to discuss, which will include the following. More about the numerous glitches that have been going on. An interesting chargeback story, which I forgot to tell you last week. A sale recommendation. A little Amazon tidbit and an interesting drop shipping story along with some other eBay information that I think you guys will find most helpful. So let's get started. I'd like to start today's video off instead of the rehash with last week I'd like to start off with a funny story that kind of made me chuckle and I think it'll make you guys chuckle too. So I was at the supermarket last week and I bought my groceries and I left and I loaded everything in the car and I'm pulling out of the lot in a very safe and prudent manner when this big dog SUV goes whew, shooting right in front of me not even looking where she was going heading for the exit so I was curious as to what kind of person was driving in such a manner in the parking lot of the supermarket as I pulled up behind the SUV waiting to exit the lot I noticed on the back window was a big sticker and it said on it eBay power seller <laughs> can you believe I was cut off by one of my own kind an eBay power seller I've never seen anybody with a sticker on the back of their vehicle like that before but I was wondering if any of you guys ever have seen such a thing an eBay power seller cut me off in the supermarket parking lot and I should also mention and I'm remiss for not doing this that it's yet another cloudy day the only difference today is it's foggy can you believe it we never see sun here on the east coast week after week i'm out here on friday and it's cloudy everyone i'm telling you you can set your watches by it i read your comments in last week's video and most of you guys not all but most of you are in agreement that you've been a lot slower than usual especially with the month of November. It's been a mostly dreadful month. And I think the reason has to do with the numerous glitches. And I'm going to talk about that in a couple of minutes and some information I think you'll find helpful. You may also remember a few weeks ago, I told you the story about a guy who opened a case against me on eBay, an item not received case when the tracking clearly showed it was received. So as you remember, I called eBay customer service. They were very helpful. They said, yes, it was delivered to him. We can see that. They closed the case in my favor. 20 minutes later, I told you, the same customer now tries to scam with PayPal. He opens a case with PayPal, even though it clearly showed it was delivered to him. PayPal fully investigated. PayPal found in my favor. So what happens then? The same guy goes for three strikes and he's going to be out. He now has filed a chargeback with his credit card company against me, saying item not received. I have never in my 16 years on eBay had somebody try three different ways to get his money back when the tracking clearly showed it was delivered to his house. Not his apartment, his house unbelievable just really crazy I just thought you guys would be interested to hear that I meant to, I had that on the schedule for last week but I forgot to tell you guys about it the next thing I'd like to discuss very quickly is returns I got a return the other day and this happens every now and then as you know I send a paper with everything I sell saying if you have any problem with the item just call me and I will take care of you so did this guy call me no did he file a return with eBay no he just took it upon himself to send the item back to me on Wednesday it was delivered back to me with a note in it and the guy seems to be older because I could tell by his handwriting it's from an older man saying 
It's a very nice item, but I bought the wrong one. Please give me a refund. How many of you guys have had buyers who just took it upon themselves to send an item back to you without contacting you first? That is not the correct way that eBay wants these returns to be handled. I mean, I understand there's going to be returns. I get that. But they should be done within the system. This happens to me every few months. Not that often. Maybe every four or five months I get one of these. All right. Next item. Let's go right to the glitches. The other night, eBay was down totally for what I would call an extended period of time. Now, remember who you're talking to here, eBay fanboy number one. I understand that they've been having a lot of problems lately. I don't, I don't dispute that at all, all right? <clears throat> I cannot give you a reason why these things are happening. I'm not a code slinger. I don't claim to be one, all right? What I'm saying is it's something that is happening and it needs to be addressed. I get that. But what concerns me about it was a lot of you guys, an overwhelming amount of you guys wrote to me this week, some through the Facebook group, some through my email, going ballistic, saying you couldn't access your account or you couldn't list an item or you couldn't bid on an item or pay for an item. And that when you called eBay customer service, you were told that there was absolutely no known problems. That is concerning. I heard this from many people, all right? When these problems occur, and they will occur, all right, I just believe eBay should say there is a problem and we're working on it. Hang tight, give us a couple of hours. I don't have a problem with that. But I know numerous people were told that no known problem was in existence. And they were told to clear their cookies and this and that. And that's just folly. There's just nothing else I can say about it. I believe in straight talk. Like I've said here, weeks and weeks and weeks. I am eBay's number one fanboy. I will continue to sell on eBay probably till the day I die. But. When something wrong happens or something's not working quite right, quite right, I will come out and say something. And I believe when these glitches occur, I don't know whose fault the glitches are. I don't know why they're happening. I don't. But when they happen, I believe they should be acknowledged and eBay should say, yes, we have a known issue. We're working on it. Please hang tight. No problem. All right, it happens. It's part of e-commerce. But please be forthright with us. When things happen, they will. Just tell us. You'd be surprised. eBay sellers are a very forgiving lot. A very quick Amazon tidbit. I don't like talking about Amazon because I don't sell there. But I was told that Amazon is limiting sellers who can sell toys during this holiday season. Can you believe that? Amazon is limiting the amount of sellers. They have to actually meet certain criteria. You can list toys on Amazon now during the busiest Christmas holiday season unless you meet their criteria or unless you're an FBA seller. Again, I'm not going to really get into this because Amazon is not my forte but someone sent me this email last night and I figured I'd pass it off to you. <clears throat> Somebody also emailed me a very interesting drop shipping story regarding eBay. eBay does not forbid drop shipping, but they frown on it. I frown on it too. I frown on drop shipping on eBay. I'm going to tell you a true story of what happened now to one of you guys, one of my subscribers. This person sells a very unique item. And I'm not gonna name the item, but for the, for the example, let's say she sells tie pins. Very unique tie pins. So, every day for two weeks, 
she was selling a tie pin to the exact same customer, Mary Jones. So what I'm saying is on Monday, Mary Jones bought a tie pin from this eBay seller. She sends it off. Tuesday, Mary Jones buys another. Wednesday, another. Thursday, another. For two weeks. One tie pin every day. But the unique thing was, although Mary Jones used her same exact account to buy this item, she gave 14 different ship to addresses of where the tie pin was going to go. So, my, my, my subscriber, who's a seller, did some investigating and found Mary Jones selling these same tie pins on Amazon. She's buying the items on eBay and drop shipping them to customers on Amazon. Now that in itself is not illegal, I don't think, but it's frowned upon because it can invite problems. So here's what happened. One of the 14 customers that received the tie pin from Mary Jones on Amazon was unhappy with it and wants a refund. Mary Jones then contacts the seller on eBay and says, I want a refund. So the seller says, okay, sure, no problem. Send me the tie pin back and I'll give you a refund. <clears throat> but Mary Jones can't send it back because she sent it to her customer on Amazon who has the tie pin and refuses to send it back. She just wants her money back. So <clears throat> the eBay seller says, I will not give you a refund unless you send me the item back which is just what eBay wants us to do. So Mary Jones, being unscrupulous dropshipper that she is, opens a case against the eBay seller. The eBay seller calls eBay customer service, explains what happened. The eBay rep looks at the transaction history and sees Mary Jones has multiple accounts <clears throat> and is indeed drop shipping to Amazon. So she immediately closes out the case in the favor of the eBay seller, which is great. But she cannot really do anything to Mary Jones's account because eBay does not specifically forbid drop shipping. They frown on it, but they don't forbid it. And I really think they should. I do believe eBay has a clause that says any item that a seller lists has to be in their possession. I can't swear to it, but I do believe it. And I think that's a good policy. I do not drop ship, obviously. I have all my items in my possession, and I think all of you guys should too. However, if you happen to have a reputable drop shipping source and you feel confident about it, I guess there's nothing wrong with it. But you don't want to get jammed up like in the example I just cited to you. This is important, guys. This is why eBay does not like drop shipping. On the board behind me, at the very bottom, I have the word sale written in big letters. And I'll explain why. I highly recommend at this time right now each of you run a sale in your eBay store using Markdown Manager. I'm sure most of you guys know how it works but in case you don't Markdown Manager is a feature where you can give a percentage off any percentage you want 10% 20% 30% off any or all of your items you can do them individually or by categories to help generate sales on eBay. I ran a sale last month in one category just as a test and my results were I would say lukewarm. I did make some sales but again I can't swear that I made them because of the sale because of the markdown manager promotion. Last night, which was Thursday night, I expanded the sale and I 
included some more categories, I think four or five more new categories. I have been told by a reputable source that eBay, as of today, Friday, Black Friday, is launching a big campaign to bring new buyers to the site and it's going to be huge. And in conjunction with running a sale using Markdown Manager, it will boost your exposure greatly. So as I said last night, I initiated some new sales and of course nothing sold yet. It's only Friday now. And I'm hoping, hoping that this works out for us. I myself am indeed cautiously optimistic. I don't mind saying that. I am still optimistic about everything. Now granted, yesterday was a holiday. How were your sales yesterday? In fact, how were your sales all week? My sales last weekend were slow because of the glitch. All right? I'm sure yours probably were too. I had at least one day where I made no sales at all. But I think starting Tuesday, my sales came roaring back. I think I had a good Tuesday and a decent Wednesday. Thursday was yesterday, the holiday. I actually made, surprisingly enough, two or three sales yesterday. And then, although that would normally be a poor amount, considering it was a holiday, I'm happy with it. I'm happy to make two or three sales on a holiday. Because you know holidays, people seem to disappear. Now today is Black Friday and this is another day that concerns me. I have made no sales so far today. And I'm concerned because I know a lot of people are going to be heading to the mall. And I don't like people going to the mall. I like people buying online. That's where I want to see the sales taken online. That's us. The e-commerce giants of eBay. So, other than that, it's been a rather uneventful week. So now guys, the ball is in your court. Please tell me your feelings and your experiences on all the issues I've just posed, including how your sales were, how the eBay glitch affected you, did you call customer service and were you told there was in fact no glitch like a lot of you guys were? How do you feel about drop shipping and the story I told you with my subscriber? I think it's dangerous, risky, and I do not advise it and I do not condone it. I think everybody should have their items in their physical possession to be shipped out to the customer once payment is received. That's why I'm a top rated seller with 100% feedback and I've been on eBay for 16 years and I am crazy New York driver and you're not. Guys, I wish you all the best of sales. I hope you all make a lot this weekend. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. A few of you guys are probably a little bit aggravated with me right now because I did not answer a lot of my crazy New York driver email because I am physically swamped. I am just so far behind, it's unbelievable. So if you're one of the people that email me this week and has not been answered, do not worry. You will get answered. I'm just so far behind. I'm trying to catch up, guys, but I'm running a one-man show here. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys next week, next Friday, right here in this spot on the Crazy New York Driver Show, and you can be sure it will be cloudy. Ha <laughs> ha!